We are experiencing technical difficulties. We'll be on the air in a moment. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to go back with B&D Chronicles, starring your host, Beamer! Dawn! With their two boys, Tyler and Bradley. Together, and with their two children, this dynamic duo make up what is known as B and D Chronicles. So as they're out and about, just peeping around, you never know who these two might even run into. It could be Graham, it could be aliens, it could even be this guy! It could even be this lovely couple right here. So strap yourselves in, make yourself comfortable, and get ready to go back with B and D Chronicles. Good morning, and welcome back. We're back. But this time, we're now out. We're out on the lake here at Moxie. We've been here for about... Mm, what, about 16 hours, give or take? Mm -hmm. Last night, I want to show you, we had a fire going. We started the uh, big hog, which is 135 pounds. Look at the size of this thing. It's going to be cooking for about 16 hours. I even got to help put it on to the, on the spit. And wow. So we did. So we're here, actually, at her cousin's camp. And... Not bad. I might show you around here in a little bit. I just woke up for the most part. And I'm going to go fishing a little bit later, I think. It's going to be a great day. And we leave tomorrow. We got up here around 5-ish last night. So, yeah. And it's about 8 o'clock in the morning. The sun's coming up in full effect. And actually sitting out here on the deck. This is actually very nice. We slept quite well. It was a little warm when we first got in here, but not bad. Not a bad night at all. You do it. Don't do what? No, no, no. What? <laughs> Chilling? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Only got a couple hours of sleep, huh? Yeah. I, on the other hand, actually got a decent amount of sleep. At least enough for me. But wow. <laughs> A nice cabin. And actually, real quick, I'm going to backtrack to last night. Well, hey, everybody. So this is the night before we got down here and stuff. We're inside the cabin here at her uh, cousin's camp. We got some candles. Got a little uh, lantern going on here. Holy crud, I want to show you something in the morning. And, of course, you're probably seeing it now. But this place that we're staying in right now, and I'm going to show you right now what it looks like on the outside in the morning. So here's just the outside. And they do have it for sale. I don't know if they've actually gotten anybody to really come out and look at it. And this place used to be the old general store. Way back in the day, I think 1950s, if not, if way, not way older. older so, um, so yeah, we're just kind of hanging out here. Yeah. I know it's kind of hard to, kind of hard to see me, but you know, wow. And today we're just gonna go kayaking, and we're gonna have the pig roast, as we've already showed you everything. Uh, pretty cool stuff. So, all right. Back to the schedule at hand. That way, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of take it and turn it into a light. Uh, just like that. Back to the day. So as you can see, these are actually some old dates. Look at that. August 1933. Flip a couple pages. Definitely say that's, that's newer. But you see, in like 1958. There's little books. Journals. I haven't really read any of them. One day I'll come back and actually do some real digging and dive a little bit deeper into the area. So, quite a bit. So we're going to go ahead and get on with the day. 
I'm actually gonna kinda just show you around. You walk up the stairs. Can you walk in? It's the front porch and they have this little seating area. Pretty cool. Let's walk in. And this is where I feel like the magic is. Whoa, just, you just take a quick look around for you guys. Of where we're at. Quite magical indeed. It's like stepping back in time, if you will. And no flux capacitor or time circuits were even needed. Shoot, I didn't even have a DeLorean to do that. So, in this room from coming off from the seating area, kind of come in here, bathroom. It's actually an addition. And because it was an addition, they still have the old wood. I mean, like, wow. Uh, backwards. Back door, little porch. Right into the woods. You can walk right on out. A little path that goes up to the front area. I mean, all in all, just right out here in nature. Oh my goodness. It's nice. There is no cell service. I'm not getting any kind of notifications. So what I think is absolutely cool about this is that there are three different sections. You got one here. This is our room in here where we slept last night. And then there's another room. I'm not gonna go ahead and open it because somebody else was in there. The idea of the bed is kind of like Goldilocks. There are three. You have the too hard, too soft, and just right. We're actually on the too soft. One place to hang some stuff up. This is the bed we slept on. Quick look out the window. Just there's a camp just right next to them. And then of course nothing but the woods. We actually kept the window open. I had a small little um, rechargeable battery fan. It provided enough cool air to keep me quite uh, pleasant during the evening. So I slept pretty good, you know. <laughs> totally off grid was a good feeling, you know. I'm recharging, so to speak, after everything. Oh, kept that on all night. That really held its charge. So this definitely has a real, like, lodgy, homey type vibe. And because this was the old general store, which what I was told from way back in the day, and outside, it's a stone throw away. This, the road that now connects all the way through here, used to be an actual railway. So just over here being the general store and just down the road is where the train station was, which we'll cover another day. I do plan on coming back out here. I don't have to stay in here in order to come up and kayak and just show the surrounding area and talk about it a little bit because I'm learning about the area itself. But you just imagine being here and then seeing a train just go right by. Just amazing. My grandfather did 20 years on the real world and going to Disney and other places with trans. It's just, ah, I love it. So while we're waiting around for a little bit, I'm gonna get something to eat. Ah, look, look at the breakfast of champions. Raviolis, right? The breakfast of champions. Just pop that thing open and eat it. Oh, so good. I know, I know, a little weird for camp type food, but it's non-perishable, and I really don't need a heating source in order to eat it to enjoy it. So we brought our kayaks down today. If all goes well, I'm hoping to actually fish on mine. I'm gonna see how it goes. I'm not. I'm just gonna do catch and release. I'm not gonna take anything unless it's significant. Ah, as the sun starts to make its way up into the sky, just kind of come out to the edge of the road. It's still crazy to think, and I can see it now, that there would be train tracks here. It's just still kind of crazy to think, though. A long time ago, at one point, what was going on in this area? Was this just a quick stop that travelers happened? Actually, just up back that way a little bit is part of the Appalachian Trail. 
So the Appalachian Trail, depending whether you're starting in this area or starting down in Georgia and walk up, could be either the start or the end of it. Crazy. Just, ah. Uh, what a way to bring in the first part of August. Happy August, everybody. So it's just a little bit later and I've come down to this dock here. This is her uncle's uh, pontoon boat. Just kind of looking over a little bit here of Moxie Lake. Not as big as some of the ones that I've been on so far, but very, very, very scenic out here. Wow. We do have a little bit of a breeze, as you can probably tell. But I think after a while, after we set up a few things in the camp, we're gonna set up like uh, little awnings, places for people to sit, for where the food's gonna be set up. <sighs> man, lake life, man. Totally radical, dude. So in addition to the pontoon boat, they have a paddle boat out here, a little raft. And you just. This little path that kind of takes you up the camp is just right over in this area. <sighs> amazing. Absolutely amazing. And just across the way, there's a house over there. And from what I've heard, and what I'm being told, is that over in this area way back when, when the train came up and around the bend here, house is just lining in this area just I can only imagine what it was like to live here in some of the early days you know in the early pioneer days and stuff land just stands the test of time all over the world and each area is enriched in its own kind of natural beauty and this place is no exception so just from over here is her uncle's camp. This is his new cabin. When I came out here five years ago, it wasn't here. We actually had to stay in a tent. And wow, I wish I had some pictures from those times because I had accidentally nicked my scalp trying to trim my hair and I actually had to shave it off completely. So there was absolutely nothing. This is actually about the length it was when I tried. So I guess five years later, we give it another go ahead. Even though her uncle does own this property itself, the area itself and around from, I'm guessing, is maintained and by Plum Creek. It says, welcome to our forest. We hope you enjoy your time here. Plum Creek asks visitors to treat your property and equipment with respect, clean up after themselves and observe state laws. Below are some rules to follow while enjoying the land. And there you are. All the rules and any information here's the number and they have a website as well pretty cool so i am going to go and see what everybody is up to probably going to get a few things going here in a minute and maybe we might even check on that hog see how it's doing hog a little time you know with the hog the pig because this is considered the pig roast this is actually pig roast number five before we get started setting everything up into this area we got the pig going and oh my goodness we could take a little peek in there just a little peek oh wait we get the full effect here look at that how long has it been going there chuck um i put him on about nine o'clock last night last night yep there you go so now it's actually time to set everything up in three two one bam one down one more to go. This easy. Simple as that. Just a little bit later, I'm sitting on the pontoon boat about to cast off, getting my uh, fishing pole all ready and whatnot. It's been ages, so I'm kind of having to do everything kind of from memory. I don't think I'm going to catch anything off of here. It's more or less for relaxation and for fun. So once I get out on there. But there's the Sweetiekins out there swimming. Just enjoying her time out there. How is it? It feels great. Come in. I think after I get this outcasted and stuff, Karen's out there. Hi. <laughs> oh, this, oh, it's so beautiful. It's a really nice day. A little warm, but we got a nice breeze, so it's a little forgiving. So I've been kind of casting it out. No bait or anything. 
just for fun. I'm just kind of chilling out there. I'm just, just sitting here. Just relaxing. Just relaxing. Nice. So I've got you guys on this again. I'm gonna take you guys with me. So if you're seeing this, the phone made it. If not, you're watching the rest of this from this and this video just got a lot harder. Oh boy. I see the alien trainer right there. She's walking through the woods. What is that? Where is she? <gasps> she disappeared. Hey, she got, she's invisible. Where the heck did she go? She's just, oh, <laughs> she's right there. Graham. All right, so here we go. going on? Oh, well, I made it. I couldn't float for that long. I actually sink when I'm in water. And I like the band in sync. Yeah, I know that was bad. My upper body strength is not what it should be. Not gonna lie. I'm about 385 pounds. That's the bloopers. I do not weigh that much. There's no way you would be like, what is he made out of solid steel? Man of steel? No, not really. Whew. But no, I weigh 285 pounds. And I think I'm gonna go actually get my life jacket so I can actually be out there, actually enjoy it. Actually. I might even go get my kayak. We're gonna have to wait and see how that goes. <sighs> but it worked. Bone's still working. So it has been later. Uh, we've been having fun just swimming, messing around. And just, I've been fishing, just having a good time. It is off now. Let's check out what this looks like. Wow, look at this. Completely finished. Cannot wait to show you what the plate looks like once it is done. It's been a great day just hanging out with everybody. Just, just chit, having a great time. You know, to everybody just kind of hanging out in the front here. Awesome. So it looks like everybody's starting to gather around. We're gonna be eating here really soon. Hi, baby. We got all the dogs and everybody's out and about. It's pretty amazing. I love it. So while we wait for all that to be done, I'm gonna walk down towards the camp that we've been staying at and I got something to show you. Unfortunately, I don't think we've seen anybody from the Appalachian Trail walk around here lately. Just right around the bend over here is a part of the Appalachian Trail. So just right here, the Appalachian Trail for the south, check it out. Kennebec River is 12.6 miles. It's not too far from where we live. I haven't been to Pleasant Pond, but that's only 4.9 miles. So it just kind of meanders off in that direction. It's kind of like a real odd feeling. This is the only place that I know of that I have ever gone on the Appalachian Trail at all. So. In all retrospects, we're on the Appalachian Trail, guys. It's the only place that I've ever done it. And that was about five years ago, before, way before I even started this channel. So, yeah. What a rock. That thing is pretty huge. Yeah, the trail just goes off in that direction. Cool little piece right here at Moxie Lake here in Maine. I can't tell you what it feels like to, to just come out to places like this. It's just freeing feeling to come out here and just enjoy this scenery. Just, just look, take it in, take it in. And just sounds. So a lot of nature's glory. 
just absolutely amazing. Well, on my way back to the camp to get a couple things, five years ago when we were here, Tyler spent most of his time down right there fishing. And let me tell you something. When Tyler was fishing, he would literally throw it in almost no bait and catch something. I've been rocking around all day and haven't caught anything, which is okay. But yeah, he would catch them quite frequently. Like he literally cast it in and boom, he got them. It's very, very calm right here. And they say that nature's wonderlands is all around us. Go outdoors and you'll find one. Right here, I have definitely felt like I've been in nature's wonderland. Another wonderful thing about being out here is sometimes you get picked up by everybody that you know. Ah, wasn't too much further, but nice. Heck yeah, awesome. Now that I got some stuff, my taxi driver is ready to take me back. I think we're gonna be eating here pretty soon. Kick it. Oh, oh, oh man, a smorgasbord of wonderful goodness. Quite a few people and I'm not wanting to interrupt anybody's experience here. So I went ahead and opted out, but I got a lot of good stuff. Oh my goodness, it's amazing. Hi, sweetie. You all right? Just too much sun today? Yeah, she had a little too much sun. And, you know, with crowds and stuff like that, so. But we're having a decent time. They're out here uh, raffling off tickets, raffling off stuff. You know, all that fun stuff. But I see... Yep, you can hear it. Raffling it off. Scotland the Brave. Well, I wasn't expecting that. That just kind of came out of nowhere. Wasn't expecting that. Better than I can do, I can tell you that. That's why. We're back out. Here is the lake. Uh, I can't get it to focus right, but. Beautiful out here. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Sweetie Kids is back in the water. Try to cool down, get her body temperature down a little bit. So that way she can actually enjoy the rest of the time out here tonight. Absolutely gorgeous out here. So it is a significant amount later and come out to get some of our stuff because earlier we're sitting on the pontoon boat. The pontoon boat actually started to sink and it'll leak in the backside. Started taking water. So I had to bring everything up here but look at this little view here with the moon. This down a little bit so we can see. Oh, perfect. Well, it's been a heck of a day. Busy, lots of stuff going on. We're gonna finish up here tonight, but I think I'm gonna leave you out here today and tonight. We'll be back with you guys tomorrow or whenever that comes out. Because you know, I don't daily vlog. But anyway, we love you guys. I think this one's chronicalized. We've had a lot of fun. Thank you for coming along. Stay safe. Stay strong. Stay positive. Cheers, guys. We'll see you soon. Tomorrow. <laughs> Come on.